Hey Capricorn, how you doing? Going to be doing your reading here for uh, April. Hope you guys are doing well. And um, keep in mind these are all general readings, so they may not resonate here with everyone. And uh, if you're interested in personals, that information is in the description box down below here. Let's see what comes up here for Capricorn in in April here. Let's see. We do have the Ten of Cups as your first card that comes out here. Okay. So, very nice card to get here as the beginning of your reading. Um, so, a lot of you guys here is just kind of walking into your, your, you know, you kind of worked on yourself, your emotions, or you're thinking about family, you know. Um, maybe there's a sense of dreaming about, um, you know, family and what, you're, what you want your Ten of Cups to look like, you know. You're working your way towards that. Um, with the King of Swords underneath here, it's like this person you um are kind of in this thought daydreaming you know just thinking there's a th there's a there's a sense of thinking here going on in the beginning um let's see let's get some more cards here we have the four of cups you can see she's kind of also thinking i mean like there's um there's just a sense of like i think maybe nostalgia or maybe thinking about someone here from the past flip the energies if you need to if this is not you but there's somebody looking back here at this Ten of Cups, you know, there's once upon a time things were very good, very happy, you know. You can see this person's kind of looking back at that and saying, you know, how things were, you know, how, how the, you know, what you guys used to do, travel, um, you know, maybe you guys took family vacations together. For some of you guys, maybe it's a, um, you know, a, a past marriage that you you were dealing with. It could be just be, you know what I mean, just take what resonates here. But this person is just thinking about the past, Okay. Um, so let's see. Let's see what's going on here. Definitely energy of missing somebody. Um, interesting. Uh, we do have the Queen of Wands that comes out here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be dealing with the fire sign. Um, or just someone here that is, um, you know, very, you know, the Queen of Wands is uh, kind of a lively person, you know, just getting out there, doing their own thing. Could be a very adventurous, wanting to travel quite a bit. Um, so this could be you. This could be you just kind of, um, you know, getting into that uh, sense of, um, that was a Two of Pentacles, by the way. I'm not taking it because there's too many cards, but there's a Two of Pentacles that want to come out. Um, but there's just a sense of, you know, wanting to get out and travel and see the world differently, okay? So maybe for some of you guys, you just kind of are in this set of, or energy of just kind of uh, wanting to learn more or, um, you know, meet new people. There's just a sense of getting out, okay? And maybe this person, you know, it could be that this person kind of sees you kind of moving forward as well. So maybe, you know, they kind of see the fact that you're kind of moving, you know, into something new or just kind of moving out of this, this situation or, you know, they don't see that you're thinking about them anymore. They don't see that you care and, they, and they're starting to miss you, something like that too. Um, we do have the Two of Cups that comes out as well. So definitely a partnership um, that someone is thinking about, all right? So let's see what this Ten of Cups is all about. What's this Ten of Cups all about here for Capricorn? The Three of Swords, okay? So yeah, I mean, this is definitely someone here just kind of reminiscing and talking about how things used to be and uh really deep in their emotions queen of cups energy here okay so they're very deep in their emotions they're really talking it's like they're talking to friends family um you know just just trying to gather what happened or maybe they expected you to contact them or something like that here let's see what the four of cups is what's the four of cups we do have the for a sword see they're in their head somebody's in their head again flip it if you need to but they want to come forward here and maybe offer some something okay this could be a text a dinner coffee something like that but i don't see them with the four of swords energy this is kind of in their head they don't i don't see them moving forward just yet okay so let's see let's see what the reading looks like here but with the three of swords the four of swords the four of cups um and then you have the ten of cups that this person is looking at this is strictly just a past situation that they regret okay they're very um like i said nostalgia this is memories maybe this is someone that you've known for a very long time let's see what this queen of wands is all about here i feel like the queen of wands is you uh, we do have justice okay so libra energy so the queen of wands here 
like I said, oh, there we go. In every reading, got to happen for Capricorn, right? The devil, your energy here. So this is you. You know, I feel like the Queen of Wands with justice. I think that you're having this sense of like um, things are balancing out for you in your life. Okay, so maybe things in the past haven't really, you know, kind of worked out. Maybe this is, you know, opportunities, whatever it is. But you're starting to see things kind of work out for you. And maybe the time and effort that you start putting into things, you're starting to see motion here. You're starting to see things move forward for yourself. Let me get one more card on justice here. But I feel like you knew or know there's like karma. You know, there's karma coming or whatever that was done to you is kind of coming back around is what's going on. I think you know that already. Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Okay, so somebody's just kind of in this energy of just feeling um, regretful, you know, sleepless nights, uh, unable to, um, you know, there's anxiety, there's worry, you know, stuff like that here. Okay, let's see what this Two of Cups is all about. Yeah, so this Justice card with the Nine of Swords basically just means that, you know, things are balancing out in terms of like this person may have put you in this energy and now it's like going back around to this person is what's going on let's see what this two of cups is all about here the emperor see you are you're going to get a new connection or maybe a new partnership coming in someone that is it doesn't matter male or female guys so the emperor could be female so just keep that in mind there's no gender in tarot all right um, but there's definitely a new connection, new offer here coming towards you here. And while you're moving forward into this new new thing, new journey, new connection, um, this person is going to see you kind of move forward. I think that's their karma, Justice. Um, let's see the Emperor. Yeah, Strength, Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, uh, but this person's very confident. And then you have the Empress at the bottom here. So we have the Emperor... And the Empress in your reading here so there's gonna be a very nice very nice connection and uh, when it when the strength card comes out with Leo energy this is like um, you know there's a lot of attraction here okay um, you know it, it's a very strong uh, attraction that uh, that you guys kind of build upon here but there's there's a there's a feeling of just kind of being in this energy of um, you know both kind of vibing at this level, a high level, and, and wanting to create something here, okay? So again, we have the Emperor, the Empress, we have Strength, Leo Energy, being confident, sexy, you know, the Two of Cups, this is new connection, new partnership, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands being over there with Justice, I think you're just kind of in this energy of just kind of moving forward and creating new things for yourself, while this past person, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, doesn't have to be those signs, but you have a past person that is watching you um, move forward. It's really what's going on here. Let's see what the potential. It's just overall, let me get three cards. So that's really what's going on here. Yeah, this is going to watch your new beginning here with the wheel. See, you have the Ace of Cups that comes out here. You get a new beginning. You have a new beginning that's coming up with the lovers, okay? So th this is just kind of like moving forward. We have the Knight of Swords moving forward here um, and moving fast, too. I mean, this is just uh, energy of just kind of like getting getting rid of the past and moving forward into something new. But again, with the wheel, the Ace of Cups, you have the wheel, the Ace of Cups and the lovers here, you know, and then the Emperor, the Empress, Strength, Two of Cups, you know, Justice, Karma is being served. I mean, and you, you get to move forward. That's really what's going on here. So Capricorn, very nice reading. Um, I feel like you have maybe have met this person or is talking. If not, you are meeting this person. Okay, so this is a new person that comes in, which, you know, I think, you know, this is this new person is going to make you completely forget the past person. And that person gets to see you happy. That's really what it is. And then starts to realize or, you know, really hits it hard that, they effed up. I mean, that's really what's going on here. So, um, but that is your reading, Capricorn. That's what I see here for the month of April for you guys. All right. So hit the like, subscribe if you guys have not already. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Have a good one.